All right, guys, the Water Weasel back here today in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee, off the strip here at Vacation Lodge, guys. This is where we are staying this trip. So we're gonna take you and show you the room and such, guys. Pretty nice place. They got a whole lot to offer here, a whole lot of rooms. Uh, it's a, a very, it's one of the older hotels in town. It's been here for a long time. It's locally owned. I'm not quite sure the date of when this one come in to play in the town. I, if I can get that information, I will let you know. They do have an indoor and outdoor pool. They've done a little additions here and added a new area, uh, more rooms. Uh, the area that we will be staying in is some of the newer part. So guys, I'm gonna turn it here and show you everything I can show you. Vacation Lodge here off the parkway in Pigeon Forge. It is actually across from the Old Mill District area off the parkway. This down through here is the older area. I will take you up and show you the newer area and show you the room. Uh, they have, like I said, uh, added more rooms here and such. Vacation Lodge, Pigeon Forge, Tennessee, off the parkway, guys. It is actually underneath the Whispering Pines. They're up in behind it. And straight across the parkway is Riverside Tire that we have showed you in the past. Really nice place as well. Both places look to be really good. Uh, Riverside Tire, we've stayed, loved it. I've stayed there many times before when I was a kid. Vacation Lodge, I've always wanted to. I know a lot of folks stay here during rod run and things of that nature we've noticed over the years of being here in town. Uh, it's a very popular place to stay. But guys, I'm sure that there's a lot of people that stay here that stayed here for years. Uh, there's the outside pool right here, as you can see through the fence. Uh, parking garage underneath this newer area, uh, which we are staying in. We're on the third floor. You can see the parking garage. Actually, I'm gonna to have to walk through into the parking garage to be able to go to our room. As you can see, the parking garage, guys, on this part. We will take the elevator up to the third floor. Give me just a moment, I'll get you to the room. All right, guys, we are down on the third floor. We have to go left-handed to our room. I will take you in a bit and show you the indoor pool area and such. Uh, out from our room, you can see the parkway real good. Really nice, and like I said, right across from the riverside there and the old mill. And we are coming into the room. This is a king fireplace room, guys. Uh, get like a little living room area here to the right when you come in with a couch. I think it's a sleeper couch, actually, that can be pulled out. So if you got kids with you, they can stay over here. They got their own TV uh, in the middle. Oh, also, when you come through the door to the left behind, the kind of behind the door is your closet area so that you can hang up some clothes and extra pillow and such. Uh, then you have in the middle to the right is the bathroom, which is pretty big. It really is. Oh, hello, you can see me. full uh, tub shower unit so you can take a bath or shower either one you prefer uh, this one does have an adjoining door to another room if you have family members or whatever friends staying with you they can stay in the room next to you and y'all can go back and forth or even if you have a big family of kids you can put the kids in one room and y'all stay in the other 
really nice chairs uh, has like a little kitchenette thing a sink and your mini fridge and your microwave uh, like I said it is a king room <coughs> excuse me a big bed really nice does not have a balcony with this room does have a fireplace another TV in this area where the bed is uh, it would be really nice in the winter time for the fireplace uh, you do have a view at the window kinda <laughs> car wash and the gas station there so at least you are convenient you do have uh, reagan's house pancakes right here beside you uh, mcdonald's is just barely up the street above that in subway uh, you do have like i said the gas station here so you can get gas right here close by to the room uh, snacks drinks such as that and if you need to clean the vehicle got the car wash right there too it is open and you're right here convenient on the parkway as well so guys this is vacation lodge in pigeon forge off parkway really nice looking room fairly nice staff hello. hello so guys we will tell you how the stay is at the end of it when we departure um guys we have been here at the vacation lodge we've been done you a video and everything showed you the room when we came in and the one reason why I've got a shower here the first night and got out of the shower walked across the floor had to use baby wipes to wipe the feet off because they was black I went this morning to the dollar store and bought a Swiffer because I don't want them here in the room cleaning staff because apparently they're not real great at least on the floors everything else is clean but the floors I got laminate wood floors you can see how dirty that Swiffer is. I have actually just went over it here with half of it with one pad, wet pad, and it's that black. Like, I don't know that this floor's ever been cleaned. So, be mindful of that. I mean, the bed, the bathroom, uh, the counters, everything else is good and clean. The walls, ceilings, everything's clean. The floor, obviously, don't get touched. They just do everything else. They they don't do anything on the floor itself. So just keep that in mind with Vacation Lodge here at Pigeon Forge, Tennessee, off Parkwood. All right, guys. I didn't show you where the breakfast room area was up here. It's actually already closed off for the day. It's 11 o'clock. Uh, as you can see in here is the uh, whole breakfast area. Um, it's up on the new part of the building here at the vacation lodge it's a pretty good sized breakfast area uh, you can access it coming around the building uh, toward the back uh, through the elevators you're going to have to come up the first set and then the second set of elevators or you got stairs um, it's all the way down through here or you can drive around here to it enjoy your hot breakfast have a great day uh, they got biscuits and gravy every day uh, bagels and cream cheese such guys cereals and everything coffee juices um, you also have the indoor pool area up here as well it's 810 on the breakfast area I'll show you how to access it from up here behind the building we will show you the indoor pool area a little bit right here uh, as you can see it you can get into it now uh, it does have the big pool and in the jacuzzi pool uh, there is restrooms back here you cannot access those restrooms after 10 p.m. at night though they open in the morning when the breakfast opens at 8 and at 10 o'clock they close them so you don't have extra restrooms during the night just during the day but that is the indoor pool here at Vacation Lodge. I showed you the outdoor pool the other day when we came in. Um, guys, there is up here behind is another parking lot area that you can park up here to come for breakfast or the pool area if you don't want to have to try to walk around. I will take you back down this way around to the bottom 
down through here on this roadway to show you that. As you can see the parkway right down here, uh, the indoor pool area up here at the top that they've done to the new addition to Vacation Lodge. Like I said, you can drive up this road right between the hotel and the BP gas station and the car wash and that will give you access to the breakfast and the uh, indoor pool. So you can just park right up there nearby and not have to walk all the stairs or take the elevators. It's up to your choice. So we will come right on down through here. Uh, this building right here, as you can tell, the brand spanking new area, which has got the indoor pool and breakfast, that's all brand, brand new. Uh, then you have the older part, which is this building right here that we just stayed in this time, uh, which is actually still newer than some of the other parts of it. Um, I'll take you all the way back around to the front as you can see the car wash and the BP and the Reagan's House of Pancakes right across from them and we will head right back down here around to the front actually guys I will show you our room our room was this one right there at the top you can see it right there that's where we was at on third floor And now we're back down the street, back out here toward the parking garage. So this is the vacation lodge guys here in Pigeon Forge. I'll bring you right back around here to the front just a little bit. The vacation lodge off the parkway across from the old mill and Riverside Tower. So guys, definitely check them out. I will wind up telling you something here in just a moment. Give me a minute to get back off away from this parkway. Uh, guys, it's a convenient place to stay. I won't say it ain't. It definitely is convenient right here, close by the parkway. I'm gonna say one thing about it. Like I said, it's convenient off the parkway. Uh, the rooms are huge. The rooms are huge. The rooms are clean minus the floors. The bedding does not have a stain on it. No. The bedding is good. The bathrooms are weirdly clean. The floors yeah. are... The floors are black, guys. Uh, we will include a little short video here in the, this video that I showed of uh, the Swiffer. I went to the Dollar General and bought a Swiffer to clean the floors to keep our feet clean. Like I said, that's the only part of it that I have a problem with is the floors are not clean. They have laminate wood floors. I don't like that factor. Well, I mean, the laminate floor I like because laminate is usually much cleaner than carpet. Yeah. But not in this case. This is the only place in town between Pigeon Forge, Gatlinburg, or towns in Tennessee that we have stayed that actually had black floors as in your feet get black. And that shocks me because everything else is spotless. I've mean, stayed places that I've been in for Christmas trees. Yeah. And I was spotless at the wall around the pool. Yeah. So all right guys, if you like this vlog, give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe to the channel. If you haven't done so so far, ring them notification bells uh, to keep your notifications rolling. And guys, if you're new here, we do upload Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, 8 a.m. They go live, uh, three videos a week, every week, always. And guys, I keep saying, we'll keep shooting them, y'all keep watching them. And this is the Wonder Weasel signing off from Vacation Lodge, Pigeon Forge, Tennessee, off the parkway.